Hi everyone, welcome back to another Tiffin series video that I have been thinking of doing for some time. Without further delay, let's start and I hope you will try these out. The first combo I'm preparing here is Halwa Puri with Black Chana Curry. This is a traditional recipe and I'm no way near the authentic recipe I guess. Just give a try and my kids enjoyed it at school. I had soaked black chana the previous night and added that to a pressure cooker along with one small onion that's cut in four, two or three green chilies, some salt and water just above its level. Cook for five whistles on medium flame. On the other side, I'm steaming one potato that I can later add to the curry and don't have to wait for it to cook. Preparing the halwa, heat some ghee, fry some cashews till light brown. Now goes in 1 cup semolina or rava. Roast on low flame till you get a good aroma. Now add 2 cups warm water and 3 4 cup of sugar. Give a continuous mix for a few seconds and close the lid. After around a minute, keep stirring this. You may add a bit more of ghee. When the semolina leaves the pan or pot, this is done. Now heat another pot and add some oil. Adding a few curry leaves first. Then goes in one medium onion that's chopped and sauté for a few minutes. Add half tablespoon ginger garlic paste and let the raw smell leave. Now add one medium tomato and cook till it's soft. I had forgotten to turn on my camera. Here I had added half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon red chili powder and then goes one tablespoon coriander powder. Cook for two or three minutes. Add the cooked potatoes and cooked chana. Add some salt and mix. Let this cook on low flame for 2 minutes and it's ready. Meanwhile, I had already prepared puri dough. Press and fry the puris. Time to pack. I mostly keep grapes for my kids as it's their favorite fruit. Next is another combo when I was feeling a bit low and prepared an easy tiffin for my kids. Caramelizing some sugar first which I'll show you what I made with it. I toasted a few bread slices over the stove on low flame. Now to this caramelized sugar, add one big spoonful of butter. After it melts, add a few cashews. Keep stirring. Add a dash of milk and let it cook on low heat for a minute. Spread some oil or butter on a plate and pour this onto the plate. Let it cool down a bit. Here on one bread slice, I am spreading some Nutella. And on the other slice, some butter. I added this into the small container of the tiffin. I shall give the link to this tiffin box in the description box. Do check it out. I had boiled eggs. I cut it in half, heated some butter in a pan, some red chilli powder and turmeric powder. 
Then place the half eggs onto it. Give slits on top. Flip after a few seconds. And that's all packed. I love to eat poha but my kids enjoy it differently once I prepare it for them. Ever since then it's been one of their tiffin recipes. Heat some oil, fry a few curry leaves and saute one large onion chopped. Then goes in one tablespoon ginger garlic paste and a few green chilies chopped. Let the raw smell go. Then goes in one medium tomato chopped and a few coriander leaves chopped. Add some salt and let this cook till the tomatoes are soft. Along with poha, I am keeping sweet bread which is almost french toast, just that I skipped milk. Break one egg, mix in some sugar and a pinch of salt for balance. A bit of cinnamon powder and whisk well. Meanwhile here, add half teaspoon turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon garam masala powder and one teaspoon coriander powder. Mix well. I soak the bread in the egg for a while till I finish the poha. I had washed and drained two cups of poha or the flattened rice. Add to this and mix. Just a drizzle of water and keep on very low flame for two minutes. Here for the sweet bread toast, melt some butter and toast it on low flame. The stiffen comes with spoon, fork and chopsticks, keeping a spoon so that they can use it to have poha. Some biscuits and in this I'll keep few walnuts. For a fruit I packed it separately. Next is tuna pasta, a simple one. I cooked some pasta in boiling water with salt. Heat some olive oil in a pan. Here I had already chopped one onion, a few green chilies and one large potato. Add everything together and mix well. Cover and keep on low medium flame. Alongside, I'll be keeping garlic bread and for that I'm grinding a few ingredients. Garlic cloves, green chilies and coriander leaves. To this ground mix, add some soft butter, salt and quarter teaspoon of dried oregano. Mix all together and that's done. When the potato is almost done, add a few chopped coriander leaves, cumin powder and two tablespoons of canned tuna. Now if you want you may skip tuna or add cooked chicken instead. Mix all together. Meanwhile, the pasta is done, drain and add. Mix well. Adding a bit of salt as it was less. And this is done. Spread the garlic butter onto one side of the bread slice and place it on a pan on low heat. 
spread more on top flip and toast on the other side too this time keeping a fork to have the pasta and that's our last tiffin combo so these were a few recipes i had sent for my kids on different days and i hope you will try it out for your kids or even for yourself do send me your feedback if you did and i'll see you in my next video until then take care bye bye